Hello everyone and welcome to Prison of Husks, a game on itch that I found on Twitter. It's a game by Tammy. It looks really cool. It looks like a kind of like a PS1 style Dark Souls and uh, I thought it looked really cool so I wanted to try it out. I'm not great at Dark Souls types games but uh, I hope to do a pretty decent job. Alright, little person, let's uh, escape this room. It's locked. Okay, can we jump out the window? Hello, doll. What doll? Oh, it's a bird. You don't belong in here. Where's the bird at? I can't see it. You'll need to get out of here. Look to your feet, for I've given you your way out. Escape this prison. Oh, Selkie. Oh, thanks, bird. Who says birds aren't nice? Wait, who says birds are real? I mean, everybody. Birds are totally real. They're little dinosaurs. Uh, Alright, I can't seem to jump over that, so... Looks like I need to find... something. That door's locked. Oh, an open door. The outside area looks pretty cool. Some nice trees. Oh, it's a ghost. Hello, ghost person. Can I have your sword? Uh, I think this ghost person is probably going to be violent, so we're going to just run past them. Yeah. At least until I can get a weapon. Oh, that's another ghost. Where's a, where's a weapon? There's... Nope, that's a path that I can't go to. I got all excited for a second, and then I realized that that way was going to be a dead end. Oh my god! That was completely unnecessary. I wasn't sure if they would follow me, but it turns out they would follow me, and maybe this is a sword. Sweet. We now have a, pr a prod sword. What? Why are you attacking me? Oh, what is they wearing like a thong? I think they're wearing a thong. I'm not real sure how to... Okay, I was gonna say I wasn't real sure how to attack them uh, with them being on the ground, but you just basically have to lock on. What do we got? Blood flask. How do I use the blood flask? So I have a block. There we go. I'm not sure what it did. Okay, well it doesn't seem to actually give me any health, so... I think I've just wasted a couple of the blood flasks. Which, uh, hopefully I don't actually need. Now there's a person and they're freaking out. Where did the ghost person go. There was a ghost person in here, but now they're gone. They disappeared. There they are. I want to try this blocking mechanic. Oh. Yeah, death. Death becomes me. <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to die so early.
Oh wait, my health is all the way back up. Heck yeah. Alright, an emerald key. I know there's at least like one more of these ghost people. There it is. I feel like I didn't really get a good opportunity to actually pull off the block properly. But the block works really well. Take that, ghost monster. Two cell keys. Ooh, let me go and help this one person. Hmm. I don't actually remember where I saw them, but I know there's that person that's kind of like... Sitting, or, sitting in a cage, and I wonder if maybe I should save them. it might be a terrible idea. I only have the one other cell key. I feel like this is gonna be the emerald key right here. I'm almost afraid to use it because if it turns out it's not... Alright, it's the emerald key. But I want to go back to find that person who is like kind of crazy wailing on the... the gate. Well, that's where I wanted to go. But uh, there's something in here. Unfortunately, that means the person that I did see is going to be stuck in here forever. I'll have to leave them. I am sorry, stranger in your cell. Save checkpoint. Sweet. I don't really know what we're doing with all these blood flasks. I have seven now. That's quite a bit. It's a pretty cool design of a castle so far. Comet is also really solid. Really enjoying the design of the castle. The combat is nice. The characters are pretty cool as well. I like... Um, the design of them, they're kind of creepy looking. And this kind of monochromatic color scheme going on. It's really stylish, uh, stylistic. It just looks really nice. Okay, who are you? A cage doll. You actually brought me down. Doll, so, on your way here, you might have noticed the chapel. I have the key to enter it, but I dare not go in again. You, however, seem unfazed by all this. It is your only way out, after all. But promise me this. Leave this prison intact, for it will affect my fate as well. You dropped a key on the ground, we have a key, and away we go to the chapel, which I believe is through this big old gate. No. <laughs> it is not. <laughs> well... I got all excited there, like I figured it out, but uh, I was wrong. Alright. Ooh, we have a champion. Oh, okay, well, thanks champion, you're obviously better at this than I am. Drinking blood, I don't know what it does. I should have probably played the part of the tutorial that gives you the explanation of what it does.
Man, I wish I had better stamina. The combat's pretty satisfying, though. I mean, it's this boss isn't really particularly difficult. You just need to kind of avoid their attacks, and the easiest way is just kind of walk in a circle. We definitely didn't need another person to come. It's like they heard me doing pretty well and wanted to stop it. Oh, this person takes like way too many hits. What, what's going on here? I am not even sure of the, the best way to do this. One hit away from death. Oh, now they're dead. Right. I definitely should not have wasted all the blood flask. I kind of understand how the blood flasks work now. So basically, you drink the blood flask, and um, when you run out of hit points, then the game, you know, basically uses the blood flask that you've apparently attached to yourself to kind of regenerate your health. Threat slain, you passed a trial that few succeed. Hooray. But it did so poorly. Vessel, I witness your victory. For you alone, the prison gate shall open. Go forth now. I step out onto the Great Bridge. Alright, cool. We can do that. So, I don't know why they're calling me a champion. I did a really, really poor job. I drank, like, almost all of my blood, blood flasks because I uh, didn't really realize what I was supposed to do with them. But that's my fault. It's not the game's fault. That's my fault for not actually paying attention to the part that tells you that... It will teach you, like, how to play the game. Oh, Vessel. You are free from this prison. I shall pluck you from this painting and deliver you to me. That's really kind of somber writing. Almost poetic in nature. Thanks for playing. Well, thanks for posting about it on Twitter. Uh, that's how I found out about this. So, really enjoyed this. It's 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 it's, sh it's short. It's not going to take you a long time to play. I finished it in less than 15 minutes. Uh, if you're better at combat, you can probably finish it in less time than that. It is quite enjoyable. Um, I'm gonna before ending. I'm gonna go to this how to play guide just to kind of take a look at it. Yeah, okay. So so pretty pretty simple stuff. I'm just gonna try the practice mode just to kinda see what it what kind of stuff they they had there. See if it explains the blood flask a little better. Let's spawn a jailer. It's not like super clear. Okay, well I don't know. I don't know how this works. I apparently didn't read it. But anyway, but um, yeah, this is like a fun game. I really definitely enjoyed it. Uh, Prison of Husks, you can play. It, excuse me, you can play it for free on on itch. Um, so I'll include the link in the description. You know, please if you like 
Dark Souls uh, style games or like Lords of the Fallen um, or just hack and slash in general, please consider giving this your shot. It is, it's quite, quite well made. Very, very atmospheric and quite a bit of fun. I wish it was longer, but I enjoyed, enjoyed playing uh, what I got to play.